Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. I pull up roto window down it. Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. Hi, hotties, kettles, teasters. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. While you're here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. Also, thank you so much to all of the subscribers and all of my new channel members. I really appreciate it. Let's talk about this Melody J. Bolin Blossom collab. This is day three. They're going to be releasing merch every day for the rest of the week. So we don't know how many items this lunch entails, but I'm loving the mother bodycon dress and greener on the other side jumpsuit. And they just dropped pictures with her in this high low as trending like to call it, but I call it a mullet dress or a mullet skirt over on their Instagram, but it isn't on the website yet. So I do believe it'll be a part of the lunch. We just don't know which day. And I love the skirt. Trending, I think that's an option for you. Y'all get in the comment section and let me know what you guys have purchased, if you guys are purchasing. This too is one of my favorite dresses from this lunch. It is so beautiful. And I also believe it has pockets. When Mill was walking away, it seemed as though there was some placement there where she can put her hands, but I don't know. I'm gonna let y'all know though when it comes in the mirror. And here's the greener on the other side jumpsuit, which I think looks absolutely beautiful and it touches the floor. And here's one of the original dresses that I wanted to get, but I just don't think it'll look nice on me if it doesn't come in extra small. And she was featuring one of Jay Bolin's special edition hats, which are on his website as well. Jay Bolin was letting Mel know in this video that she was blossoming and she looked beautiful. And what does it mean to her to blossom and Mel explained to blossom it means to grow through the dirt or come from the dirt and basically blossom like when you think of a flower growing I had to mute it because there's music over it and I don't want to get copied she also gives a moment of when she blossomed and she says she blossomed when she decided to choose herself coming from what she thought was her normalcy into a completely new life basically that is her example of when she blossomed which isn't the only time she blossomed just an example that she decided to give in this video which I thought was superb I'm wondering if we're going to see any of these fashions featured on the show and I want y'all to get in the comment section and let me know what it is that you guys are going to be getting mm -hmm. hey hey what's up you guys Come on in. Hey, Audrey. What's up, Audrey? I see Audrey is on here, here for hot tea. Stacy, I see you guys. Wesson has requested to come in on the live, so let's get him in here. Okay, okay. Tea talk with your girl. I see guys, Shanita, I see you all. chance to like go live together so i'm excited i feel like we always do these amazing collaborations we put out these beautiful pieces these beautiful photos but we never we're tired we're so tired after the shoot <laughs> we're so tired after the shoot we all never get to go live we together always, so. we always tired man and you you came in first of all just let me talk about your work ethic really fast if um, there are three women in the industry that i know work really hard all the time mm -hmm. it's beyonce Erica Campbell, mm -hmm. and then there's Melody Sherry. Those are the three women that I know that are always like on the move and always consistently working. And if y'all yeah. haven't seen it, one thing I will say is that you always come in the building and you always deliver. Okay, Thank you. like you're gonna always deliver. I don't care what it is. I don't mm -hmm. care what you put on. Melody is always like, can we try this? Let's try that. She'll tie it up with the waist. Like your style eye is so good. And I think that uh, the ladies that are watching uh, that are gonna be on here buying for themselves or for a daughter or for a friend mm -hmm. or for whomever. Mm -hmm. I think that um, you embody something that makes 
Um, people feel like there's some relatability. Yeah. And yeah. then it's something that they can aspire to get. And it's not only something that they can aspire to get, but it's something that they can affordable. actually get. It's affordable. Yeah. yeah. And I commend you for that because, you know, I feel like, of course, every time, you know, this, every time I walk you guys into the J. Bowl and First of all, let me just say, I will tell you, your aura is always so positive, so uplifting. And that is why we're able to buy. Let's go. What's next? Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> um, but the fact, you know, that for me, and I, I shared this with you earlier, um, you guys who are on here who've been following me, you guys know I just had my mimosas with Melody. And Jay Bolin, unfortunately, wasn't able to attend at the last minute. But he was a recipient of the Leading Ladies Living Legacy Award because wow. that is what he's so many ladies in of confidence and how to put pieces together that we never would have thought to put together. <laughs> that we never would have thought to put together, okay? And you make it fashion, you make it a statement, and you make it impressionable, Jay. And that is what you do. There's nobody, I don't care what, and I, you know, I've walked in several fashion shows, I've been to Paris, I've been to New York. There is no one that I've met yet who even halfway meets where you are. When it comes wow. to your eye, your attention to detail, and then your energy and vibe that you give off. Because let me just say this. I've got to give you your flowers. Some people, when they've worked with celebrities, I mean, let's be real, y'all. Jay Bowling's portfolio speaks for himself. Tyra Banks, Eric <laughs> Campbell, Tati Coughlin. Like, he's worked with everybody, okay? See him on Good Morning America. See him on Tamara Hall. Okay, that's Jay Bowling, okay? Um, but your humility and the love that you show, no matter how many heights you've gotten to, that is what makes you unique. You, you're not nasty. You don't have a nasty attitude. You don't have a nasty disposition. I clearly see what I would say, God's love in you. So that's why I never mind coming here to work with you. When I, and when I say you'll be on the first plane, kicking and ticking across the air, baby, <laughs> they'll be ready. That's why, I, and I love that when you come in the building, you bring such good energy, even when you're tired, mm -hmm. you know, like you were up until 2.30 this morning, you got here this morning, I needed to adjust the time, you were flexible, yeah. you came in, and you didn't even ask any questions, I just love that you trust me so much now, yeah. like, Melody yeah. just comes in and just sits in the chair, she was like, okay, you want me to have this hair? Okay, cool, you want me to have this makeup? Yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. so what, like, literally, I totally appreciate you, but I want to say thank you for giving me flowers as a creative I think that a lot of creators on here, y'all can put in the comments if you're creative, and if you've never felt like flowers given to you, it is difficult when you're rolling, you're rolling, you're going, 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 and you're being exhausted. And yes, your clients may pay you, and they may pay you pretty well, but it's nothing like a person, a simple human saying, thank you. Yeah. So I want to say thank you for just saying thank you to me and for giving me flowers, because most of the time people do this when people are gone. Like yeah. Most of the time people get on, they talk about you know how amazing people are when someone is gone, but yeah. for you to say that, and I'm, I'm just a country boy from Mississippi who has always longed for somebody to like my creativity yeah. in any kind of way, and so uh, you are one of the one of the people who came along throughout my path with Johnny and everybody. And I was about and to say, no, tell the story. Like, tell the story, because I was telling someone yeah. the story earlier. I was like, Jay Bowl and I first worked together years and years yeah, no, ago. Before, like, before I was even on a television show. Yeah, we go <laughs> way back. I actually have a photo. So it brought up memories in my phone the other day. And it was nothing but uh, but good moments. And this is when you were. This is when I first met you. You were short and blonde then. Yeah. Your hair yeah. was short and blonde then. Yeah. And uh, I think you were going to a few events. And I came in. I started yeah. for the event. And we did a photo shoot as well yeah. and uh Huntsville, and Carl's and, Visa studio i yes. was hosting the red carpet for the 100 black men of greater huntsville their was. gala i was hosting the red carpet uh -huh. that's exactly what it was yeah. i had you on staircases poses yep. and everything yep. at that time i didn't have like you know fancy photographers taking pictures everywhere yeah. i was literally taking pictures with myself and, and you were yep. and you were still by my side yeah. Like, yeah, even so. when I didn't have the fabulous whatever, right, the yeah. fabulous office, I think the time I met you, Mel, I was broke as I don't know what. I was literally just trying to make it. And I had so many different celebrity names under my belt, but yet wow. I was still struggling. I was wow. still struggling because I didn't know how to take care of money. I wasn't really getting paid money. I was doing everything, you know, for the low or for free until I, uh, somewhere along the way, you know, found out my value and, um, yeah. and got enough boldness and confidence. Yeah. To say, you know what? I, I feel capable. Mm. I feel like I'm ready to perceive what, what mm. God can do. And you were by my side you, in that broke moment, girl. Yeah, I mean, really. And I was going to ask you, what do you feel was it that caused you or allowed you to move past not knowing if I'm going to be able to continue this, but yeah. I love doing what I'm doing. Like, I feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So how did you find the strength, the courage, the perseverance to keep going, even when it wasn't putting the money in your pocket that you needed it to put? Um, you know what? I think once you have, um, I'll tell you what I've. My
wife and I used to do. We would go to um, Logan's restaurant, and we would go, and we would get um, the biscuits. We would get, like, the little free rolls they would come out with, and they would bring us out where we get water because we knew those were the two free things that you could get from there because we could we didn't have anything to even eat at the time. And I was Jay Bolin then. Wow. And I, we would go in, and I knew that the yeast mm. would fill my belly up if I got water in my stomach. I don't know where I found this logic at, but I just, I, you know, I found it out along the way. And that's what would fill our bellies up at night, and we would go home. And uh, I mean, obviously, it may be bad for us now that we're getting older, but that's what we had to do to survive at that moment. And I just remember one day just really saying, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. I remember having to uh, go and live. I was living deep off in the projects as Jay Bolin and was scared to walk in and out of my home. Um, you know, people were breaking into my house because they knew that I just, they knew that I didn't belong there. I'm walking in with blazers on and yeah. my slacks on, and I'm like, like, it didn't matter to me where I was. Like, it was my culture. These are my people. It doesn't matter to me, but I had to do what I had to do in order to start life over and to, like, literally go back in and rebuild my infrastructure, whether it was my credit, that I made really bad decisions, or whether it was me working for free, which was um, not necessarily a bad decision, but I wasn't looking at it as an investment at the time. I was looking at it as though I was just working for free. So now I know that it's, it's marketing. You know what I mean? And I had some really, really tough moments. Even when I was in the projects, I still couldn't take care of my I would come home and my lights were off. My lights were off, and then I had to tell my son. We would tell a lot to my son and say, Oh, the weather is bad outside. You know what I mean? Just so he would think that, you know, something was going on. Oh, the whole neighborhood lights are out. Just so he would think that, like, that, like, you know, I didn't want him to look at his dad like his dad was a failure. And then I didn't want the men in the community in Mississippi. I'm from the country. So they're like, what the heck is a stylist? Boy, you better get your butt up and go to work yeah. and get you a job and take right. care of your family while you're out here seeking a dream. And I never mm -hmm. wanted to let, I never wanted to let that dream go. And I just kept hearing God say, I got you. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, really? You really got yeah. me? Because it doesn't feel like you got me. Uh, and sometimes but, it doesn't feel like that in the moment. You know what I mean? Like, what a beautiful testimony. And look at where you are now. And I'm going to say this because I can say it. And I've been to your place. Not only um, has God blessed you triple fold, right, um, from where you were then. I mean, you're employing people. Let me tell you guys something. The Jay Bolin Agency really is a whole thing. He has a whole team who works every day. Yeah. And they're there every time I come. <laughs> So, you know, to hear right now you share, because you've never shared that with me, but like, my God, you know what I'm saying? To hear yeah. you share how things started and for me to be able to physically see where I see you are now. Yeah, but you know why? You know why you don't like most of us don't share most of the time, and I'm 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 one of I'm probably the main one. You don't share it out of shame, um, and then you don't share it out of I feel like when you first start off and whatever it is that you're doing, you start off and you don't have a name at all, then you do everything extremely fearlessly. Like you just do it extremely fearless, right? And I feel like once you start to gain a name, then that comes with this whole thing of what you're supposed to have and what it's supposed to look like. So then you have a fear of opening up your mouth to ask for help because you don't want people to know that you don't have, and then you have this fear of sharing with other people because it's supposed to look like you're supposed to have. So you get in this really awkward, weird place, and so. Um, I just I always reflect back to the moment where um, I was sitting in a in an event one day, and this makes me emotional. But I was sitting in this event one day, and this I was uh, working with this young lady that was in a pageant, and I remember seeing a room, and it was kings and queens from Africa in the room, and I was like, "Bet, like this is where I'm supposed to be, like for real, this is where I'm supposed to be at." 